into another round of my little Git Atomo series. Today I have something special. Uh, yeah, the guitar is called Special. Um, it's an original vintage 1957 Gibson Les Paul Special in TV yellow. Yeah, this color yeah, is a matter of taste, but back in the days it was not a matter of taste, it was urgent. Uh, to, to, to have a color which would do the right contrast uh, with black and uh, white television uh, for the actors on stage. So if you had a white guitar and a white, white shirt, yeah, the guitar disappeared, you know. <laughs> so they found out that this uh, yeah, more or less gruesome color um, uh, is the right thing for black and white television. So, but, uh, but apart from the color, which is a matter of taste, uh, of course, this guitar is a wonderful um, instrument in very good condition, as you can see here. So, you must imagine this was a student model back in the days. So, a cheap version from the um, uh, Gibson Les Paul standard. The same like the Gibson Les Paul Studios today, you know, a little bit stripped off unnecessary things, uh, very naked, but affordable. I think it was $130 or something like that. <laughs> back in that time, but it even was a little bit more expensive than the uh, Gibson Les Paul uh, Junior, uh, which came only with one uh, um, screaming dog ear pickup, the, the bigger size uh, P90 model. Here in this model we have two P90s, single coils, and um, this model also was aimed towards students. I wish Gibson would do something like that today. <laughs> And um, it's the single cutaway model. Later in 1958, I think mid 1958, they came out with this double cutaway model, which was later named um, SG Special. Uh, anyway, this guitar, yeah, is in a very good condition. Has a wonderful, wonderful uh, Brazilian rosewood fretboard, uh, which also has binding, and. Um, as you can see here in the detail, the, the, the neck transition um, still was very different compared to what we are used to from Les Pauls. So this guitar has uh, yeah, the typical uh, uh, three-way switch, the tone controls, volume controls, so one volume for each pickup, one tone control for each pickup. Tone control, typical uh, vintage, uh, is reacting very, very fine and very linear. The guitar has the original uh, Deluxe Klusen Tone Tuners, but uh, oh, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, but the guitar is vintage, original, but you have to tune after every second song or something like that. But apart from that, this guitar sounds absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, listen for yourself. So that you just gotta get, get an idea. Um, you hear it humming, so single coils. Uh, of course, it has to be said that the single coils, the P90s, are very microphonic, so it's a good idea to keep the amp volume a little bit lower or the guitar away from the amplifier. So, did you just get the idea about the basic sound, the clean sound? Here uh, is uh, the bridge pickup. <laughs> can be very jazzy if you just uh, yeah, use the tone knob here. Who would have thought that? Uh, the bridge pickup of course is very single coilish. Very sharp in the ear. Nonetheless, it cuts through every mix, this I can tell you. So here are both pickups together. Yeah, it's funky, isn't it? Um, yeah, of course, the characteristics of the single coils are very dominant. Um, yeah, before I talk too much, um, I simply enjoy this wraparound tailpiece here. I, I love that. Uh, it, it, it gives, I, I don't know, it gives you some 
some tonal variations you, you don't have with a, uh, a stop tail piece. So now I give you a few examples how this guitar behaves in a musical context. I have prepared two playbacks, one for a clean sound and one for a crunch sound. And uh, yeah, listen for yourself the tonal variations, some of the tonal variations of this 1957 Gibson Les Paul special in TV yellow. For that I have put a blue shirt on, so for the contrast in modern times video. <laughs> Okay, normally you would expect that uh, the P90s sound very thin or something like that, but maybe you heard this is not always the case. I mean, it is the case when you go to the pitch position and, and put the treble full in and the volume full up, but uh, in between it's, it's uh, surprisingly warm, isn't it? And it's a funky guitar, it's very good for rhythm. And um, yeah, in the crunch section now with, uh, with, with uh, crunch sounds, uh, of course, uh, the lead qualities will also come over because this guitar has surprisingly high gain for uh, single coil pickups. By the way, here for this guitar, I use a PV Classic uh, 50 watts tube combo with 2 times 12 speakers. Uh, cable goes directly into the amp, no pedal in between. And um, it's a Shure SM57 mic <laughs> placed in front of one of the speakers and I just added uh, here in the recording in the mixing desk a little bit delay for my pleasure. But uh, apart from that it's the guitar and uh, as you maybe can hear then now um, it's, it's so much fun to control all the uh, distortion variations here just with the volume knobs and the tone knobs of the guitar. So have fun.
Yes, you probably heard, uh, or hopefully heard, uh, this guitar is pure rock and roll. Um, bang! <laughs> uh, makes a lot of fun. The playability is great. It's, it's a wonderful fretboard, a really wonderful neck. Um, rather slim for the 50s and uh, it's a wonderful vintage 1957 Gibson Les Paul special in TV yellow and I think I will continue to play a little bit with myself after the video recording here is finished so excuse me for that bye bye see you next time